Hello guys, from under the car, as you can see, one bolt right here and another bolt right here to tie the starter. In order to replace the starter, as you can see, from under the car, in no way to take out the starter from under the, the car. So, anyway, yesterday I go up in the air, all the bottom engine cover, even the transmission cover, remove and support your engine. And here, the passenger side engine support arm that you guys have to remove. And the reason why, because the starter it uh, sit in the car and no room in the back here. When you unmold the starter bolt here, you cannot start it out. And that's why we have to remove the big guys. So in order to remove the, the starter on this vehicle, you have to deal all on this side, this way. And uh, the repair menu is saying uh, we remove the engine support arm. We have to remove the outer tie rock, inner tie rock, and uh, loose up the rock and pinion, something like that. But in this case, I don't need it because you see the engine rock, um, the vehicle shop frame here, uh, 13 16 millimeter bolt here. I already lose it before I take the engine support arm out and then after that I support the engine up and you can see right now no gap here but if I lose up the engine support a little bit and you can able to see about a quarter gap right here and as you can see something in the back here you can see on the subframe I gotta have a quarter gap let me able to take this guy out no need to uh, remove the outer in the tie rod so anyway, as you can see, the, the sway ball here, I already lose it up freely and hand it up right there and, uh, because it blocked the way my arm had to push the tool in there working and remove the starter. Okay guys. I got the starter uh, took out, put on the floor right now. So, as you can see, it's the only this room. And uh, to access to remove the starter on this vehicle. And also this room to remove the engine support arm. You don't really need to remove the axle. You don't really need to remove the inner on the tie rock. And uh, that's all. And come to the starter and we will talk a little bit more what I recommend you guys to do. Here the old starter, as you can see on the starter, it has the valve, uh, valve pin right here. And the new one also have it. We don't need to remove this pin from the old one to put on the new one. But when I recommend you guys, this is the alternator, uh, the starter bolt. When you guys uh, lose it about half an inch, loosening on the bottom bolt. The top bolt take, the, take it away, and then the bottom one is the second. But when the top, uh, the bottom one you have about a quarter or three eight or half inch loose I recommend you use the, the hammer tap tap on it to push the starter back and then it will come off the pin for you guys easy to move if you take the bolt all the way out and then you shake shake in the back of the alternator but this pin is stuck too hard and it will waste your time and, uh, and finally you have to put the bolt back in again okay I got a new starter installed and uh, put the main cable back, tie the back, and the solenoid, start the solenoid control connector back. I don't put the engine support arm back in yet because I need to get to see if crank start or not before I put everything back on. To remove the starter, I don't want to disconnect the battery, but to be safe, I have another way to do it. I don't, I don't want to lose, loosen some on this car because you can see the owner put very very heavy speaker and, and all the wire everything here I don't want to deal with that and let's see how I disconnect the electrical before remove the starter from the yum starter point right here guys you, you guys have to disconnect the cable main cable the main cable rolls directly to the starter uh, remove the cable by 30 millimeter the bolt right here and more take it out before you guys try to be lazy to disconnect the battery like me and make sure after the cable disconnected 
the project behind the starter we still have power there or not if uh, no power you can able to remove here inside the car everything uh, not everything I just put the new starter install and just the main power and the control starter solenoid and hopefully it crank and start okay let's see got it okay guys that's it on this uh yeah turn off the engine right away because on that side i don't have the engine mount uh engine support arm yes and under the engine and did uh something support under the engine and no vibration don't want to run for a long time just try again and it starts yeah that's it okay turn it off okay guys on this model let me go back there again if you want to do your starter remove on same model around this model year same uh, engine same everything the starter remove position may be the same and go ahead and do that the reason why i load the frame a little bit because uh i want to put my hand in there to load up the engine mount nut on just only one as you can see it right here the engine mount nut and nut right there yep and then after i have this nut removed and then i support the engine before i remove the, the engine support on and this way let me show you guys i took the engine support arm out by this way let me put it back in for you guys see that this is easy you don't need like the repair manual all day that say we need to remove the yeah out of the tie rock in the tie rock we loosen the rack pin and pull that way oh no i don't know yeah you guys don't see in the video i took the engine support arm out but now i put back in for you guys easy to see that same thing like alternator starter try to turn around around until you have it in let me i don't remember which way i check it out i took it out anymore yeah seem to be good from here not like that mean you see yep yep got it got it i have this on here Maybe wrong way. Okay, take it out again. If something comes first, you should put it in the opposite way. You don't got it. Let me see. Yeah, out again. Yeah, now I put this way come first. Let's see, maybe. Yep, almost got it. Yep, and then inside there you can turn it over but don't leave it too high and hit the both electrical bow in the back the can and the back of the starter it may get short okay and be careful yep I got it in there the good push down the, the engine mouth okay guys that's it that's all going there and uh if you have the same model here same model around this and this is a 2011 bmw access v8 cylinder ah yeah v8 engine 4.4 liter engine turbo before you lose the nuts on the engine mount drop the frame a little bit on this side but don't take the bolt all the way out you might drop uh, the frame with the engine and then remove the engine support arm and then you can able to remove the starter okay that's right guys Follow the video, do on your own vehicle. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Bye bye.